Hello boys and girls, this is Lady G and I am looking at doing another challenge on Pure Farming 2018. So welcome to you. Uh, last, last time we did a challenge we were in Italy where we completed the olive tasting just about. Um, but what I'm thinking I might do this time round is perhaps do a different map. Um, I'm not entirely sure I want to do the Japan one because it's a bit boring to start off with. It's just ploughing some fields. Um, but what I might do is let's try doing let's try doing this Columbia one, the jungle fire. Uh, so with this one, I have 18 hours, so not very long at all. Well, it's a lot shorter than the olive one that I was doing. Columbia is a country full of scenic vistas and vast forests. However, occasionally prevalent heat can result in forest fires. This time the fire broke out not far from your farm. You have to save your crops from the oncoming flames. So requirements to finish the scenario and optional tasks. So if we, like the last one on the, on the Italy one, we managed to get the full um, optional task done as well. So let's see if we can try this. Now, we don't just have the one harvester like we did have on the olive. We've got a tractor, a harvester, two harvesters. Oh, because one of them's coffee and one of them's hemp. Okay. Uh, and we have a trailer. Oh, okay. So two harvesters. So this is going to have to be really thought out. We've got a lot more machinery this time. So what might be an idea then is actually to concentrate on this. On the requirements and then see if we can finish it off. Well, let's see how we do. So let's try this this challenge. Um, I have been playing uh, pure farming as a um, on the sandbox mode, um, which has it's kind of proved okay. I mean the the map that I prefer, I think, is the Montana map uh, because it is the, the the largest map of all of them, including the Germany map. The Germany map is actually quite small, um, and it's. I don't know. It is very intuitive still. You know, I'm I'm I really do like it. I mean, the greenhouses especially. You know, I just wanted to. I pretty much just gave myself a million dollars at the start of it and just pretty much bought the cows. I bought cows. I bought uh, greenhouses and various other bits and bits just so that I can get you know an idea about how they work and and what you're meant to do with them. Um, so that's proved out quite well, and I'm still quite enjoying it. It's really good. Um, okay, so what should I be doing? Deliver hemp to the warehouse. So... Uh, oh, I sound funny. I've got funny trousers on. Funny trainers on. Um, okay, so let's get into my harvester. And slow it down. Oh! A touch front. Okay, so... Let's turn this bad boy around without crashing into my tractor, ideally. Uh, now where's the trailer? That's what I'd like to know. Because I obviously got the harvester there and the tractor, but there is there is supposed to be a trailer. Um, oh, there might be in front of me. Yeah, it is. Okay, so where do I need to be going? Uh, so this... That must be my hemp, and it's being delivered to this bad boy over here, is it? Yeah. Okay, so let's try field four first, just because it's smaller. Uh, so I think that's field four in front of me. Now, that looks a bit hilly, doesn't it? So if we try coming at it from this angle maybe? No. No. Yes. No. Hang on. Let me get there first. If I can. I'm going around the long way aren't I? Yes. Uh, here we go. Right. Uh, no. Yeah I think I'm going to be best to do this way. Move the device down. Oh, it needs to trailer at the same time. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, excuse me. 
tractors. Uh, let me. I didn't realise that. Because I've not used the hemp before, so I don't know. I've not harvested hemp, so I've got no clue. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's going to work the same way as a, as a forage harvester would on. Um, on FS, um, I happen to assume. So if I can get haul this bad boy, I'm going to need the tractor anyway. To be fair, because I'm not going to drive the forager all the way. Uh, yeah, the forager backwards and forwards. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, let me just put this in such a way. I'll just be able to reverse. Uh, stop. T. Right, you get out of the way. Uh, into there. Oh, oh, oh! Will this work? Oh, it will. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do I not need to unfold it or something? Like the front? Or is that... Move the device down. Turn the harvest... Work? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it will unfold. Okay. Let's do this. Or not. X? Ah, maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh get that on the go make sure I'm steering in some fashion or other yeah so I've not done hemp, hemp harvesting yet uh, so this is the first time I've done this could be interesting it'll also be interesting whether or not we actually complete the challenge because there is that too but fingers crossed, eh? Oh, nope, not that. I meant that. And then X. No, X. I want it down! Okay. quite how I'm going to manage this I have absolutely no idea but just the same as we did with the olive tasting let's just go 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 see what we can do and hope for the best so we're almost at half half full on the trailer uh, let's go this way oh maybe I shouldn't have gone this way Ugh. Sorry, tractor. Coming through. Yeah. Well, I certainly like this forager, though. This uh, is pretty nifty. I like it. And we got some speed up as well, so that's always good. Now, I'm pretty much betting that I've picked the wrong field to start, you know, hauling this stuff, but... Because I can't imagine there's going to be enough on this field to uh, fulfil the demand that is needed. But we will see. We shall see. Come on. Move your butt. So hopefully we'll be able to reach the top of here and then we'll get the tractor to take over the trailer and go and unload it and then come back. Try not to miss too many. Yeah, I've been playing um, Kingdom Come Deliverance at the moment as well, so. But uh, I can't really upload any videos over the weekends, which is why um, there hasn't been any that have been unloaded, uh, uploaded. Um, just simply because I am. Um, my husband's home on a weekend, so I'm not able to. Um, to upload because obviously you know uploading takes up an awful lot of um, 
a lot of the internet so and he'll he usually shouts at me for using up all the internet when I'm uploading so I have to kind of pause over the weekends and he was home early he was he managed to get home Thursday night this time because we had the dentist to worry about on, on Friday so um, but uh, but yeah so now that he's uh, gone back to work for the week um, then uh, I can get back to normal for the time being anyway right I'm assuming I need to unload it in here can only hope so uh, anywhere specific or can I just drop it in the middle of oh I don't like these trailers I really don't like these trailers just dump it get rid no idea where it's going but oh yeah it looks like it's going in the front one look oh it's going in all of them oh okay cool quicker come on in a hurry just managed to switch on the cruise control there I don't know why okay behind the fence Oh, and that. Oh, I hit it. T. And go. Gosh, everything is such a rush. Rush, 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 rush. Boom. Uh, where is it? There it is. Can we attach? Yeah. Uh, work. And ah. Uh, and go! No! Don't go! X! <laughs> now I've got no idea what the top speed of this bad boy is so let's just push the W key keep it down So we're just over halfway on the hemp delivery so and we obviously we've also got the optional extra so if I can I'm tempted to just keep going to be fair um, on this field and uh, and hope that we can get it uh, to its 100% but we'll have to see nice looking machine actually it's very easy to use as well it's pretty nifty even with a new behind the wheel uh, uh, move your big butt oh 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 messed up that turn here we go so yeah, I'm still really enjoying this this game. Um, it's obviously vastly different from FS in just what it offers and how and how it plays, really. Um, but I do hope that they'll, you know, that the developers um, will carry on working on it because I mean, it would be good to be able to see maybe different crops being introduced um, as well. Like at the moment, I'm a bit perturbed, so to speak. Um, that on the Montana map I can't grow canola uh, but there are places that you can sell the canola um, so and the other thing I'd like to know is whether or not there's uh, when you are in uh, free mode uh, in the sandbox mode you can uh, you have a, an international airport uh, building that uh, is available on the map uh, and what it does is they have they also have drop off points that you can drop like fruits off or whatever as uh, for international export um, which is wonderful um, but I don't know how that's going to work so I want to be able to try and find out if when you um, 
if you were to take a load of fruits there for example uh, so I think that you can send off your, your fruit to like Italy that you've been growing in your orchards on the Montana map um, does it sell it to Italy or does it store it there and then you go and move over to Italy so to speak uh, and then sell what you've got you know what you what you sent over there that's a bit of a tight fit oh I should have gone that way uh oh this is really not good especially since I hate this trailer come on wiggle wiggle it oh come on 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 thank you <laughs> just just keep pushing buttons and seeing and hope to god that something happens um, yeah there is that one thing actually that I've noticed about this uh, this game is the collisions now the collisions can be a little bit excessive so I ended up having to start one of my maps all over again um, on the on the free play um, because I'd got stuck on the edge of a rabbit hutch but I weren't touching the rabbit hutch it was like an invisible rock was there um, so it was like well what the heck um, and yeah it was it was really quite frustrating trying to wiggle out and I could not wiggle I couldn't wiggle out of that problem no matter how hard I tried and that was slightly annoying and I have noticed that there are some of the uh, collisions do seem to be a bit excessive um, in the area around them um, as to how hard you hit them oh uh, so I've I've been deliberately like avoiding any kind of um, any kind of uh, obstacle because it just gets you stuck and when you're stuck you've had it um, come on come on T uh, so yeah right, let's remember everything this time shall we uh, move it down oh F right are we spinning we're spinning let's go um, so uh, so yeah that was quite annoying and yesterday I had uh, when I'd started the Montana map I said I gave myself a million dollars and I bought the biggest plow uh, and uh, the biggest cultivator and the biggest cedar of course uh, bought a few fields and just went nuts for the game it was amazing it was really good um, unfortunately there's a problem with the workers um, which seem to have the same sort of problem as FS did um, oh I didn't want that row I want this row uh, which seems to have the same problem as FS did um, now before you on FS before you had the advanced AI, AI uh, mod um, your workers when you try to get your workers to, to do their bit when you hired them uh, they might end up like starting in the corner that you've put them in um, but they might just kind of do a, a semicircle like from that spot uh, and then say that they finished their job and I'm like uh, I can assure you you haven't you've not done anything uh, now this has a similar problem in that what it does is it starts where you've asked it to start but what it will then do is do a diagonal across the field and then it will do one half of the field from that diagonal so it will use the diagonal line that it created at the very start as its sort of border um, and then once it's done that half it stops um, which I was like but but you've, what about the rest of the field you know it's like you haven't done the rest of the field yet get on it um, so yeah I was a little bit about that but you know never mind um, so yeah I ended up doing all the ploughing all the cultivating all the seeding on four different fields one of which was massive uh, because I couldn't rely on the um, on the worker to do it properly so right so this should hopefully be the last load that we can then haul over uh, and then what I'm going to do 
we'll just dump that there and then hop into the tractor is that close enough you're going to do it? probably not wrong angle yeah okay well that's right you just caused me a right nuisance eh? Uh, quicker quicker Thank you. Right, let's try to avoid that fence this time, shall we? That might be an idea. Uh, and then I'm going to need to hop into the uh, the coffee harvester. I have harvested coffee before, so that's pretty cool. I reasonably know what I'm doing with that. Uh, I just can't line myself up very well. The same with the olives. Um, I figured out how to um, get the... Uh, stuff from um, orchards uh, and greenhouses. Now, normally they they they're dumped into a, like a, a crate on this on the side. Um, but my first uh, the the let's play that I did on the that's not going to be enough, is it? Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought I was going to be able to just go and oh no! Um, oh wow! This is not going to be easy. And I've only I've still only got ten minutes. I've got ten minutes to do both of these. And it's not gonna switch over to the other to the other task until I've done this. Ah Oh sorry. Crash. Uh T oh. Wrong angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, I've managed to figure out how to... I don't know why I got out. I should have just switched. <laughs> um, excuse me. No, okay. Let me unfold stuff. Uh, maybe bash? Bash? No. See, that's something that uh, is different to FS. FS, if you did that on a trailer, or anything it would move um, and when it moved <laughs> this little connector bit would move with it uh, but obviously as you just saw you can't move it uh, X no not X I want I want X again uh, then I want R yeah and then I want F F turn the beast turn the beast um, which way should I go when I get down the bottom of here? I suppose right. But yeah, uh, anyway, so I was saying, so that first episode that I did on the My First Farm part of Pure Farming, um, one of the missions was to go and harvest pears. Uh, now, and the apple orchard, which is one that I've, I've bought and been using, that just basically like auto harvests and it puts all your apples in a crate next to the next to the orchard that you then just go and take a trailer to and, and unload it right so it'd be interesting to see how you're supposed to harvest the pear field because i'd have thought well the pear orchard i'd have thought it would work exactly the same way as the apple so where it gave me the um mission to go and harvest said pears and obviously as i'm sure you remember i was trying to find a piece of equipment that would mean that i could do that but there wasn't one now after I'd watched it back, um, played it back and watched it myself, I kind of thought, well maybe you're supposed to go and hand pick them, maybe there isn't one. Um, but I haven't got that far, so when I next do the, the, the next episode on it, I will uh, I'll have a look, you know, and just kind of see what it is I'm supposed to be doing, because I've got no idea. Oh, make that bend. No, I think I'm going to fail this mission. Now, even if I fail this mission, I am obviously still going to upload the uh, the video. Uh, but I will have to try it again. Uh, although I might try it off screen, maybe. Uh, off camera. But that would be a bit boring because then you wouldn't be able to see me actually complete it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe if I do have to do this a, sec a second time, I might actually harvest this hemp a bit neater. Maybe. I mean... It's unlikely. Uh, it's 
this one? It's the fullest row, maybe? Yeah. I don't think this is gonna this feels gonna be enough. Either that or I'm supposed to literally get every single plant. And then I might be able to complete it. I don't know. I mean I'm only at what, ten thousand pounds now? Um which might not be enough. Let me just see if I can get some of this scrap stuff. Uh, I really want to get it all because otherwise if I dump the trailer and it's not enough it could prove problematic to say the least uh, but it's certainly quite a bit of fun I quite like it to harvest this hemp it's pretty good not going to reach both lanes, am I? Let's just gather these last little bits. And then... I'll try and unload this, but I've only got eight minutes and I'm still supposed to be collecting all that coffee. I've no idea how this is going to work out. But it is a little bit annoying that it gives you the, you know, an optional um, additional thing to do, yet it forces you because otherwise it, it doesn't actually um, allow you to move on to the second one. You know what I mean? Uh, what did I do with it? Where is it? Where's the dots there? Um, yeah, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't really give you much of a choice. Is it crash? Uh, you'd have thought I could do this better, but can I? Am I not far back enough? Thank you. I'm just gonna have to pray this is enough. It's just over ten thousand pounds. It's almost the whole field, but hopefully it's just the ten thousand that it needs. Otherwise. Sorry, post. Otherwise, I'm going to be in deep trouble. Let's see how this works out. Go on, all the way. No, it's not going to do it, is it? No. Oh, mate. That sucks. Oh. That really sucks. Um, <laughs> okay, right. Can we see whether or not... That's my coffee plantation, but where am I supposed to be storing it? Uh, come on, quick. Quicker. Where am I supposed to be storing the coffee? Is it coffee buyer maybe I'm supposed to be selling it straight to the coffee buyer or coffee warehouse coffee warehouse right let's try uh, oh, I'm dilly dallying stop dilly dallying let's get into that um, into this one and let's see if I can sort of skip to that second so deliver the, some coffee to the warehouse. Open. Uh, so when I come out of here, if I turn... Yeah, okay, I'd be best to turn right. Work my way towards that point, but come down between the two machines. Okay. I've got seven and a half minutes. And that's going to have to include me getting to the coffee fields. Harvesting what I'm supposed to be harvesting. Uh, which way? Let's go this way. And follow the rocks. Oh, wow. Uh, 
under pressure. Oh, that's a field I've just harvested. So at the end of this rock, there should be a bridge. Oh, wow, this is slow. I don't suppose it would have helped that I was driving over a field, but, you know. Uh, right, yeah, this should be the bridge here. Now, I, I'm having to assume that this is the second part of this mission. I, It's, it's saying deliver it to the warehouse and not to that port that we saw where we can sell the coffee so uh, let me just change that to work oh, not quite close enough yet but hey ho oh, come on let's get there uh, can I have some lights? yep try and line my stuff up behind the tree there we go. Slide down. Okay, let's go. Right, so I'm thinking that I'm supposed to be dropping off in that warehouse right in front of me. That is my assumption anyway. But we will have to see and hope for the best. Um. Yeah! Not easy, a point two of a percent before I reach the hundred percent on that hemp. Ugh. That's going to be a bit squiffy, isn't it? Come on. Let's try this one then. Coffee. Oh, I do like a good coffee. I bought myself a Costa earlier. Nice large mocha latte. Nothing too fancy. Although unfortunately the poor guy that was behind the uh, the till was having a bad day. He's slamming buttons and having a bit of an attitude with people and I was like, do you know what mate, pack that in. But I mean I could kind of get why he was like that because he was alone for quite a while and he'd had all these orders that had come in you know, including things like people wanting toast or sarnies or whatever, you know, and the poor guy's all by himself. And uh, and then the other guy, when he does pop out, is just not really helping in any way. So I was like, oh, you poor fella. Oh, no, come on. No time for this. No time for this. Come on. Straight line. Straight line. Relatively. Reasonably. Straight line. Come on. So I'm not even halfway full, but I think what I might do with that harvester is, I mean, I'm, I'm betting you're supposed to have harvested every last bit out of that hemp field before you finished it off, so to speak. Um, so, I mean... The only other option is would be to do it uh, if I've got the time, is to take the harvester up to one of the other fields that uh, are harvestable. Maybe do a line on that, and then take the tractor one up to drop it off, because that should be more than enough by that point to to complete it fully. So, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, first of all, I need to get the coffee the coffee sorted out. Um, because that bar, of course, at the top, I don't know if that is going to change when I when I drop off the coffee. I don't know if it's going to change. I sure hope it does. Because I don't want to end up unloading a load and then find that it's, like, not going to count it because it's still stuck on the other one. There we go. I can do this one. There we go. See, this, this coffee bean one is a lot easier than the olive. If you remember the olive one, I just kept smacking into the uh, the end of the row. Whenever I was trying to line myself up, I just kept going bang, 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 bang. And I 
mezelf. Ik kan steek ik op niet. I suppose the other thing I could do is fill this up. Then go back to the harvester. Harvest the lime. Uh, unload it and then come back to the coffee machine and unload the coffee machine knowing that the coffee machine is already like fully loaded but I don't know that that's actually going to help me out at all oh, come on bad boy come on now come on thank you uh, but yeah well, I don't know if that's actually going to make any odds uh, but we'll give it a try um, because I am worried about that if I start emptying this that that counter or that bar that progress bar along the top isn't going to change to the coffee beans um, so I think that's what we'll do I think that's what I'll do so I'll get a full load of the coffee and then I'll go back to the harvester yeah I think that's going to be the best right storage is full so let's just stop We'll get into the harvester. Put my lights on because I can't see nothing. Uh, what did I do with the tractor? What's oh, over there? Sorry, sneeze. Uh, okay, so field three. So if I turn around and head for field three oh, I don't have any reverse ones okay uh, hopefully there's no tree around here because I can't see there we go stop okay uh, give me the tractor uh, now I want you to aim for oh lights because I can't see oh tree uh now oh, where is it where did it go are we over here somewhere oh come on yeah straight on oh i'm shaking oh i'm shaking with the excitement am i gonna do it am i gonna do it am i gonna do it is this the right decision probably not but hey ho right stop 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 detach now i should only need a row I should uh, tab get in that one let's start unfolding stuff uh, move the device down press R and we, yeah we're going we're going we're on it we're doing it guys we're doing it British Gas have just emailed me in case you heard that ping. That was my email. I still haven't learnt to mute my phone when I'm recording. Okay. Four and a half, five thousand. That should be enough, surely. Uh, right, turn it off. Uh, move the device up. Uh, actually, it might be best to just drive this thing straight there. Nope, not F. Ah, I didn't mean F. So that's just going to slow me down. Uh, aim for the big doors. Aim for the big doors. Come on. Now here's assuming I can actually unload with this bad boy. I sure hope so. In the doors. Thank you. Three and a half minutes to go, guys. Three and a half minutes. Can I? Yes, I can. Drop. Good. Right. Let's move into this bad boy. Right. Where are you being unloaded? It is behind me, so I think I might have been right. Three and a half. Yes, I need it in there. Okay, that's good. That's, that's a good sign. So now all I need to do is establish whether or not the little... Uh, 
vineyard that I've got there is going to be enough because I've only got what four rows left and I need a lot more than four rows so oh one of my hamsters is awake I have two hamsters uh, Gemini and Orion they are both dwarf hamsters and uh, and they are as cute as a button they are amazing right unloading now I'd like to think it will hit 100% at least on a full load it did right so I've met the minimum requirement so I have completed it can you open please is that a problem so if I don't have enough there oh I see then it's number two look so let's let's time how long it will take to get down to field number two and then we'll harvest as much as we can in whatever time we'd have left so let me make sure I am going the right way I am good get, get out oh I wish this would go faster so I want this little dirt track down here I believe It's a shame I can't see. Yeah, go away. Quick, time's a wasting. Okay. So I need to be up this end because otherwise it's not gonna work. Turn the beast around. Oh no, no 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 no. That was the right direction. Oh no. Quick! This one. Uh, F. And go. Right. Okay. That took far too long, but... So I'd say, as a guess, we've got a couple of minutes. So, let's try and get as much as we can in those two minutes. And, uh, and hope for the best. see what we can do. De -de -de -de. Turn the beast. Turn you beast. Yep, any row. Just pick a row. is a very good game. I do like it. It's very unique at the moment I think. I've also been playing a bit of Cattle and Crops but for me Cattle and Crops is awful. It's terrible. I mean you try and do the missions, uh, you know the tutorial missions and things just break and go wrong um, and it's not it's certainly not complete and I do understand that it is you know it, it, it's not released, it's, you know, it's an alpha build, it's not anything fabulous and fantastic yet, but, you know, I love the dynamics behind it, you know, about you getting stuck in mud and, and having to really work hard to just sort that out, but, and I also, I'll tell you one thing I did like actually, I really did like the look of, was the worker system. Um, you can, the, the way that it works is that you create a calendar, sort of like a, a calendar type event. Um, where you schedule in um, a worker and a tractor and whatever device it needs. So if you're cultivating, you'll stick a cultivator on it. And then um, you essentially just schedule it. Um, and when re when that time turns up, when it comes, you'll get a, a, a driver that will turn up that you've already, because you have to hire the driver beforehand. But that driver will turn up, they'll get in the tractor, they'll find the cultivator and, and on off they go. And uh, and I think that was very good how that's laid out. Um, but uh, but yeah, as I mean, I understand that at the moment they've only got corn um, that you can plant, uh, which is fine because again, you know, you, you're just testing these things out, you know, and giving feedback to the um, the developers. Um, but yeah, I, I just found it was a little bit, I don't know. 
but uh, and it was more expensive than this game which for what it is at the moment it really wasn't worth it and I was quite disappointed by it so how are we doing we've still got another 40 odd seconds to go so come on beast straight on it yeah that's close enough for me right so what I'll do is I'll do one more row down one more row back up and hopefully we'll make it back to the warehouse but I don't think that's going to be enough if I'm honest but nonetheless we made a we I've made a good good effort I should get a a little shiny star for effort So it's about 15 seconds to, to get down a row, but obviously that only really works if you can line yourself up properly. So, But we will make this the last row that we do, and then we'll head straight back to the warehouse. So I'm probably only going to get half a load and, and we already know that's not enough it needs to be I'm pretty sure judging by the hemp uh, that it probably actually needs to be two full loads to complete 100% you know even the optional um, extra one but I don't know turn the bad boy off aim for this road and then when we get to the top of it at the T junction we're going to turn left fingers crossed guys there's no reason why I shouldn't get back there but pedal to the metal uh, yeah so we just got to keep an eye on where we're going make sure we don't Hurt ourselves, should be fine. Straight in through that door. Or not through that door. Oh no, there is a gap back here. That's good. I'm taking it. Oh, oh that was close. Bump, bump, and 20 seconds. Better unload in 20 seconds. No, I'm not going to do it. Look, that's nowhere near enough never mind but there we go so we know that I'm not going to com fully complete it but I have at least um, completed it so when we go back to the main menu it should enable the the, the, the second uh, mission that we can do at another point another time uh, so we're just getting into the final countdown now and then we'll have a, a quick look at the, the menu to just make sure that you know it has unlocked I'm pretty sure it will I mean although I, I didn't manage to complete both um, but I did do a fair bit so I'm sure that would be absolutely fine and zero challenge one thank you very much okay so let's see what the next one is uh, so where was that that was Columbia so we've just done the jungle fire. Exotic mechanic. Working in remote locations has some drawbacks. Oh, these are repairs. Oh, wow. The difficult access to spare parts for the machinery is one problem. So there is a need for maintenance of agricultural machinery in home workshops. In particular, in such hard to reach places as our farm, this working mythology is quite common. A great knowledge of your machines is ahead of you. Wow. Requirements to finish a scenario. Repair seven machines. Repair 13 machines. Ooh. Well, I'm probably going to do that one on my uh, next one, on my next challenge, I think. I think that's a very good idea. I wonder how that would work. Could you just kind of run into loads of different warehouses and fix it? I don't know. Maybe. Join me next time to find out. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please join me next time when we'll have a look at that mechanic one. That looks uh, pretty interesting. And uh, as always, please do leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. When you do subscribe, click on the little bell icon to receive notifications of whenever I upload a video. So thank you very much for joining me. Bye for now.